The new school year is here. Visit queenslibrary.org to see all of our back to school programs and giveaways and to read our guide with helpful tips on family communication, book lists, and more. Ban Books Week is from September 18th through September 24th, and we are celebrating the books that dare us to think deeply, opening our minds to new perspectives, cultures, surroundings, and beyond. Participate in our sweepstakes online or in person, or visit our website to view our top 100 most popular banned and challenged books in circulation during the past decade. A QPL card is your passport to over 5.3 million books, movies, and other media, over 19,000 classes and events per year, over 5,000 computer workstations, and so much more. Enjoy these wonderful benefits by applying for a library card on our website or at your local library. Good evening, everyone, um, and to all of those families watching at home. I'm Assembly Member Neely Rosick, representing the 25th Assembly District in Eastern Queens in Flushing and Fresh Meadows and Bayside. Um, I'm so excited to be here with all of you as we get to celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month at the Queen's Public Library. So for those of you who don't know, Hispanic Heritage Month is annually celebrated from September 15th to October 15th in the United States, and it recognizes the contributions and influence of Hispanic Americans to the history, culture, and achievements of the Latino community in the United States. The day of September 15th is significant because it's the anniversary of independence for many Latin American countries, including Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. In addition, Mexico and Chile celebrate their independence days on September 16th and September 18th. Today, we get to celebrate our culture and have a special story time planned for all of you thanks to author Carla Cruz. Carla was born in Venezuela and grew up in Queens, New York, like so many of us. She graduated from John Jay College of Criminal Justice with a degree in English literature and a minor in political science. She has over 10 years of experience in activism and organizing. She loves writing stories for young readers to show the value of community organizing and using your unique and diverse voices. I'm so excited for her to join us in reading her debut children's book, The Adventures of Pepita Morales at City Hall, The Fight to Save El Jardin. So with that, Carla, take it away. Thank you, Assemblywoman. Thank you so much for having me here. And thank you, Queens Public Library, for taking the time to celebrate our culture. A toda mi gente bella de Latinoamérica que me está viendo, gracias por estar aquí. Muchos besos. And let's start. Like the Assemblywoman said, Pepita Morales, here is the story, my debut book. And I'm actually really happy to be here today with a real life Pepita, which is our assembly member, Neely. I wrote the story because I was incredibly inspired by the women, especially the Latinx women that are leading us and have positions of power. So this is where Pepita Morales, the character, grew. So thank you, Neely, for all the work and service that you have done for Queens, but also for New York State. So with no further ado, let's start. The Adventures of Pepita Morales at City Hall, The Fight to Save El Jardín. For those of you who don't know what El Jardín is, is a garden. It 
It was Monday, the beginning of the week at City Hall. The day started early for Councilwoman Pepita, whose job is to continue a better community for all. Councilwoman Pepita, screeched Lucas, the chief of staff from the lobby. Rapido, we are being overrun. Familiar faces began to gather outside the councilwoman's office. Aquí estamos y no nos vamos. Pepita rushed to greet the crowd. Mi gente, said Pepita, what is going on? Pepita, they are taking away our jardín, replied Nico. Chiquito, ¿qué dices? What is going on with el jardín? The city wants to sell el jardín to Mr. Big Box so he can build a shopping center, said Sarah the baker. They left a notice outside El Jardín's gate, added Miguel the painter. A gloom fell over Pepita's face as she waited for everybody to speak. Mi gente, don't move. I'll be right back, Pepita cried out as the crowd returned to the office. What am I going to do, bawled Pepita? Our community will be devastated if we lose El Jardín. The people are counting on me to help them. I don't know what to do, she confided to her four-legged friends. Pepita, remember what Abuelita told us when we felt sad or scared, said Charlie the cat. You fight, replied Lola the cat. No. You run, said Gizmito the dog. No. You hide, yelled both Gizmito and Lola the cat. No, replied Charlie with frustration. We breathe, listen to our hearts, and look for strength in our ancestors. Pepita remembered. She remembered the many lessons her abuela had told her about their past, the lands their ancestors came from and traditions that were passed down from generation to generation. Recuerda mi niña, you are not alone. Whenever you feel sad or scared, close your eyes, Take a deep breath and feel the loving energy of your ancestors, said Abuela. Pepita closed her eyes and placed her right hand on her heart. She took a deep breath and stood still. Abuelita. Mi niña, no tengas miedo. We are always with you, guiding and protecting you. Listen to your heart. That is where you will find your power, said Abuelita. Pepita opened her eyes wide and yelled with glee. Let's go save nuestro jardín. Lucas, rápido, ven por favor, I know what to do. We're going to get all the community together and together we're going to organize and march and we're going to do a community meeting to save nuestro jardín. Pepita, ran, Pepita and her four-legged friends ran with excitement to let the people gather outside know what the action plan is. Mi gente, Pepita addressed the community, don't fear. Together, we will save our beloved garden. We will use the power of our collective voices and we would lead with our hearts. Are you ready? Asked Pepita to the crowd. Yes, cheered the crowd. See. Sí. Nico said Pepita, tell your friends what is going on. Tell them we need them. Miguel the painter, make sure que todo el barrio comes out to support. Sarah the baker, we're going to need a lot of arepitas to fill our tummies. Together, we will show the power of the people, and together, we will win. Yes, cheer the crowd. March to Save El Jardín. The community gathered to march in support of Saving El Jardín. The children made colorful Si Se Puede posters and hung them along the march path. Lupe, the science teacher, brought maracas y tambores. Pepita placed her right hand over her heart. She looked up to the sky, closed her eyes, and took a deep breath. I'm ready, she whispered. Mi gente, Pepita addressed the community. Are we ready? Let's do this. Community meeting. Bienvenido, said Pepita. 
We will be hearing from the community if the city should sell El Jardín to Mr. Big Box or keep investing it as a garden. The city will decide after everyone has had a chance to speak. The room felt silent. No one moved or said anything until the first person got up to speak. Sarah the baker went first. We must keep investing in our garden because El Jardín feeds us. We grow berries, tomatoes, and delicious herbs like cilantro and basil. One after another, the members of the community raised their voices in support of keeping El Jardín as a public space. Miguel the painter said, the artists in our community use El Jardín as a source of inspiration. We must protect our public spaces. My mother takes my brother and I to El Jardín to play after school, said Nico. We love to swing from the peach trees and play in the sprinklers. It was now Mr. Big Box turn to speak. Hello, everyone. Don't worry. Once I take over the go oops, did I say that? What I meant to say was, when big boxes build, the community will not miss the old scruffy garden. I would like to say a few words, said Pepita as she stood up from her seat. An entire community has come together to support El Jardín, a magical place that benefits us all, from the little ones who run around and play among the peach trees to the elders who spend their days cultivating the land so that we can have crops year after year. We must save our garden. It was now time for the city to cast their vote in favor of keeping El Jardín or selling it to Mr. Big Box. Pepita received the final votes and moved closer to the crowd. The people have spoken and the city heard us loud and clear. Our community has rejected Big Box. The crowd erupted in cheers of si se puede. Mi gente, today we showed our power. When I say people, you say power. People, power, people. Power. When I say people, you say power. People, power. People, power. Dia de Carnaval. The next day, the community celebrated with bright costumes adorned with feathers and bows and gems. Dancing masks glided up and down the parade while music played out vibrant, colorful floats. Pepita looked up to the sky and smiled brightly. Pepita's ancestor smiled back. You did it, mi niña. You used your power, got the community together, and you helped save El Jardín. The end. Assemblywoman? Thanks so much, Carla. I hope that everyone at home really enjoyed the lessons learned from Pepita and her whole crew and that people and power work together. Um, if any of you missed it or we wanna share this clip with family or friends, feel free to check it out on Facebook or on YouTube. Feel free to share the link with anyone and everyone from your classmates to your friends and your neighbors. I hope you enjoyed tonight's story time and hope to see you on the next adventure with Pepita Morales. Thank you, Queens Public Library, and thank you, Assemblywoman.